everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we're talking about highlighting and I wanted to share with you one of my favorite beauty tips that I have been doing a lot lately and noticed a big difference in the way my highlight looks. It's just swapping out a brush for a dampened sponge. So I will show you how to do this technique. It's so easy, it makes your highlight look natural regardless of what formula you choose, regardless if it's a powder or a cream. Whatever your preference is, using a damp sponge can make all the difference in the world. So I'm going to go ahead and show you exactly how to use a dampened sponge for highlighting. Alright, so I'm in the part of my routine where I need to highlight. That is the very last thing that needs to be done to complete this whole entire look. And I wanted to share with you guys a beauty tip that really has made highlighting a bit different for me. And I love using my brushes like you guys know when I highlight in almost every video I've always used the Morphe M501 brush which is like a jumbo size crease brush or it looks like it and that has always been my go-to highlight brush this is an excellent brush for that I've used other tools as well um, brushes that have highlighted and given me a beautiful sort of glowy effect but when I use a dampened beauty sponge to apply it, it almost makes the product sort of melt into the skin and makes it look like it's actually your skin and it just looks so much more glowy and just a little bit more dewier just like I guess more natural if you could say <laughs> I know that sometimes a lot of highlighting that you have seen on Instagram and other videos are not quite natural looking and it's all piled on it's all very sort of strobing and it's to the nines and I get it it looks beautiful and I've done that a lot myself but there's just something to be said about having a natural highlight and for me my go-to for that sort of effect is the Laura Mercier highlighter it came in a Sephora favorite set I think last year and I swear to you guys I use this all the time this is probably one of my most reached for highlights in my collection and this thing does not end. I'm waiting for it to be gone so that I can purchase the full size, but this is what it looks like. This is the Matte Radiance Baked Powder in Highlight 01. There's nothing matte about this. I don't know why they put the word matte in the title of the product because as you can see, there is nothing matte about this. It's a beautiful sort of glowy product, but it is very natural and you could definitely layer this up and get more intense. Look with that. But that is just one of my go-to's. Now another one that I absolutely love and I think is such a great product to have if you love highlighting, it's the Mary Lou by The Bomb. It's a great highlighter and again it has that soft sort of champagne sort of glow to it. It's not too warm, it's not too cool. It's just the right amount of like golden -y glow that I think a lot of people can use or a lot of skin tones can use. So. What I have is the Real Techniques Mini Sponge. This is the Micro Mini Eraser Sponge, whatever they're called. I like to use the flat side, and this has been dampened a little bit, and so it's just barely damp. It doesn't need to be sopping wet, but it needs to be damp. Um, so this is gonna be key. So I like to take the flat side and just kind of smush it into the product, and then apply it to the tops of my cheekbones, like so. And I'm just sort of pouncing back and forth like so to blend the product in and I can feel that sort of subtle kind of coolness from the dampened sponge so make sure it's nice and damp and as you can see it doesn't look like there's any lines as you can see it's very blended it's very soft but it looks very natural and just like my skin has this glow to it without looking like a stripe of product if that makes any sense so just Using a damp sponge is really key. Then I'm also going to take a little bit of it down my nose and I just kind of pinch the sponge a bit just to kind of fit it down the center of my nose and the tip of my nose, a little bit on my cupid's bow. I haven't done my lip product, I just have a lip plumper on. So I feel that sort of tingly burning sensation. I'm using the Too Faced. Um, lip injection and then for me because I am oily and I do get a little bit of oil sometimes on my forehead I never really apply any super glowy dewy highlighters in the forehead area or my chin but this is the one that I use for that because it is very soft and very light instantly adds nice radiance to my skin soften out the edges with the sponge and that's all you need to do to get a really soft natural sort of it looks like it's your skin. What's my hair doing? <laughs> it looks like it's your skin, but better. It's like your skin is glowy, it's healthy, it's radiant, and it's what 
natural highlighting should be. So that is how I've been doing my highlight lately and I've noticed a big difference. It just looks like it's my skin. It just looks very fresh and very natural. And now if I wanted to take this up a level, I would have chosen something that's a little bit high, more highlighting because um, this Laura Mercier, like I said, is very natural. You can definitely get a little bit more of an intense look by packing on the product or layering this over like a cream highlight. But if I wanted something much more glowy, I would go with something like Mary Lou, which I mentioned in the video. That's one of my favorites. I would have used one from Tarte that is more glowy and more shimmery. You could also use the same technique by using the damp sponge with a liquid highlight, a cream highlight. It's just going to make the highlight product, whichever formula you choose, it's going to make it blend in with the skin. It's almost like melting in the product into your skin to make it look like it's your actual skin, which is essentially what highlighting is. We've just sort of, over the course of the last several years of highlighting and stuff, have taken it up to another level. It's not something that everybody likes. Some people like natural, some people don't like to highlight, some people like it where you can see it in outer space. Whatever it is that you like, or the technique of applying, I think that if you were to use a beauty sponge, I think you would enjoy the finish that it gives, and just that subtle kind of glowy, as you can see, it just looks like my skin. There's no harsh lines, it's all blended, it's all very fresh, and just, I just love it. So I hope that you found this beauty tip helpful. Let me know in the comment section what you thought. If you tried out, let me know how it worked for you. Thank you so much for spending some of your day with me today. Have a fabulous day and I'll talk to you soon.